your number one news team covering the North. The Bahamas Tonight, Northern Edition. Welcome back. A number of schools on island have reopened while others are expected to open next month. While the Falcons Boys Club is doing its part to help parents with back-to-school preparation, the organization held a back-to-school drive through at its Champs Community Center on Saturday, where students received essential supplies as they adjust to virtual learning platforms. Jay Philippe has more. Community support has never been more critical during the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic. As schools go back into session, through distinct learning, families will have to create a proper learning environment for their children at home and provide some educational supplies themselves. The Falcons Boys Club, however, led by President Darren Roll, has been instrumental in assisting young men in the community in preparation for the reopening of schools. This year, thanks to some generous partners, 80 young men receive tablets, computers, and uniforms from the Falcons Boys Club as they are set to return to school. For many parents, this gesture could not have came at a better time. We do appreciate what the Falcons Boys Club is doing for the community. I think that, um, you know, we receiving the tablets to help um, the young men in the community is tremendous. But also, you know, we have to give a hats off to them because all of the companies that were involved in helping to support this act, I think is going to be inspirational for our community and the boys as well. It's truly a blessing because right now I'm not working, so it's a blessing to get these for the boys so they could get back to work. I'm very happy and excited to receive it, you know, at school opening. You know, I think it's something that children will need and for some parents who are scared of the face-to-face -face, uh, education that they're going to receive, so it'll help them along the way as well of um, if they want to go to school or if they don't want to, of, you know, just being on the safe side. Recipients of those back-to-school supplies were grateful for the essential tools received that they will need for the academic year. I feel grateful that he is doing all these stuff for us and I'm really grateful for all the stuff he did for me and providing me and my mother. And I think that um, God will bless him and bless us as this life goes through. I feel happy not having us, having somebody pay the tablet for us, actually showing that they want to help the community. President of the Falcons Boys Club, Darren Roll, says that these are unprecedented and uncertain times as hundreds of Grand Bahamians are facing economic challenges and that is what led him to want to help even more. Nobody will know how far this initiative is going to go. The computers where these young boys are getting, they are state of the art. All of the technology that they need, it's on it. Uh, the amount of Wi-Fi that they need. I just want to encourage teachers to please be careful because the technology that they have, this is top of the line, it's even a cell phone. They can even put their chip inside of it and be able to use it. And I am just so thankful that these companies have been over backwards uh, to be able to purchase these items today that, uh, that, uh, that we're giving out today. Uh, this is no cheap venture. Uh, this afternoon, uh, these companies have invested near $8,000 for what you see taking place here today. And I am just so thankful for all of the names that have been called. Uh, Falcons Boys Club and the thing that we're trying to do here on the island of Grand Bahama. We are mentoring for free. But these companies are the ones who are making the investment for it to be free. I'm Jay Philippe, ZNS, Network News. Well, another nonprofit organization making a difference in the Grand Bahama community by assisting those who need it most. In this report, Jay Philippe tells us about a joint effort by the Kiwanis Clubs on Island that took members through the communities of Grand Bahama distributing care packages to families in need. For more than a century, Kiwanis has created opportunities for children to be curious, safe, and healthy, regardless of the community in which they live. The service organization also focused on meeting needs within the community. The Kiwanis Club of Lukaya, Freeport, and 8 Mile Rock came together in a joint operation to distribute care packages across the island of Grand Bahama. The packages included groceries and cleaning supplies. Doran Russell, distinguished president of the Kiwanis Club of Berry Islands, said that the Goodwill Initiative was significant. The Kiwanis Division 22 of the Bahamas, which comprise of 15 clubs, um, 
came together and decided during this time after the pandemic there are still persons out there who are in need. So we had the three clubs within the Freeport area which is the Kiwanis Club of Lukaya, Kiwanis Club of Eight Mile Rock and the Kiwanis Club of Freeport. We all came together to make a joint effort. Um, we purchase items, food items, um, cleaning items, so that we can distribute in at least the five constituencies throughout Grand Bahama. President of the Kiwanis Club of Freeport, Sonia Nesbitt, added that the initiative is in line with the Kiwanis Club's mission, which is a global organization of volunteers dedicated to improve the world one child and one community at a time. She noted that the Club of Freeport adopted the areas located near the southern shores of the island, inclusive of Pindus Point, Lewis Yard, and the Hawksville area, where she said there is a great need for assistance. We actually have been working in that area for several years now. The Kiwanis Club of Freeport has been working in that area for several years. So most persons there are aware of the Kiwanis Club of Freeport because we work in that area. We actually work in that area. So they are very receptive and they are pleased. And so today they're going to be quite happy that they're going to receive something from the Kiwanis Club of Freeport again. According to Lamar Bo. President of the Kiwanis Club of Lukaya, assessments were carried out throughout various residential communities from East End to West End and also in the inner city area of Freeport in order to meet the needs of the recipients of the care packages. We expected to impact the lives of those persons who we've already assessed and so we would have been out through several communities um, within the Grand Bahama um, Island. And so we've already assessed certain families where their needs and so we'll be distributing to those particular individuals in those particular families where we have um, assessed the actual needs. Anthony Jones, president of the Eight Mile Rock Club, said that it is the club's desire to be viewed as a positive influence in that community with hopes of developing communities that will nurture and provide support for the children they serve. For the years that I was in the club working with the community of Eight Mile Rock, um, um, we've done a lot of good work for them. And we got a lot of good response from the from the, the community of Eight Mile Rock. I'm Jay Philippe, ZNS Network News. Stay with us. We'll be back in just a moment.